Well, just as expected, reactions have continued to trail the removal of the chairman, former chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, the FCC, Mrs. Farida Waziri. In an interview with China's television, human rights lawyer and activist, Mr. Femi Fallon, said the sack was long overdue and should have been effected just before now. Mr. Falano did not stop there. He's of the opinion that rather than fight corruption, Mrs. Farida was very further entrenched corruption in the agency and the polity as a whole. He said the fight against corruption under her leadership was below par, politicized and lacked substance. But the former minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Madam Nasir El Rufa, who agreed that her removal was necessary, disagreed with the mode of her removal. He noted that the federal government was in breach of the law in the manner of her removal. He challenged the government to give Nigerians reasons for the removal of Mrs. Waziri in line with the act establishing the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and also admitted that Mrs. Waziri was incompetent and not fit for the job. I think the removal has come rather too late, you know. But all the same, you know, uh, I, I, I'm of the strong view. In the last three years or thereabout, the organization has been destroyed completely. It's unfortunate. Total destruction. The place is really in corruption and incompetence. Uh, the place itself will have to be investigated. You cannot believe the level of corruption that took over the system. It's just unbelievable. Well, my immediate reaction is the removal is well deserved because she's not discharged her responsibilities uh, the way she should. Uh, she, most of the cases she pursued are politically motivated. So to that extent, I think the anti-corruption we needed a new face, a non-political face. Uh, but I have problems with it. Uh, I have problems with it because the law establishing the EFCC has not been complied with in her removal. I looked at the statement very carefully to see compliance with the EFCC Act, Section 3, Subsection 2, which requires the President to state the cause for the removal. The president has the power to remove the chairman and members of the EFCC, but he must show cause. Is it infirmity of body or mind? Is Farida Waziri insane? Or was she removed because she has failed to do her job? Or was she removed in the public interest or in the interest of the commission? This is, these are the grounds in which the EFCC Act provided for her removal. And the statement removing her should explain to us as citizens why she was removed.